So you may have saw my video demonstrating how to make a mini eight page poetry book. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a even smaller 16 page poetry book that you could use as well. So let's get started. So this is the same as the previous video where in order to make the mini book, you just need one sheet of A4 paper and a pair of scissors. The only difference with this one is that because there's more pages, there's gonna be a little bit more folding and a tad more cutting for us to do. Now, if you start off with it in portrait position, you'll end up with a portrait mini book. And if you start off with it in landscape, you'll end up with a landscape book. So that's totally up to you, your choice. I'm going for portrait and then I'll fold from the bottom up to the top. Try and get the, the creases as, as tight as possible. Just makes cutting easier, makes them look a little bit nicer as well when we fold it all together. And then again, go from the bottom up to the top. Open it all back out when you're happy with your creases. And then you're gonna fold the other way. So now you're gonna go from right to left. If you can match up the lines, the three folded lines, then that's great. If you want to as well, you can always run the handles, the handle of the scissors along it. I just don't do that too much because I can end up with a, a black smudge on the sheet of paper. And again, we need to fold it over once more. Open it out so that you've got one, two, three, four, eight in total. Have it so that the, the crease of the page is away from you and that the folded part is facing you. And what you want to do is you want to cut the fold. So just follow up the lines as neatly as you possibly can. I'm really rubbish at cutting. I'm cutting straight and neat anyway. Before we open it all out and then cut along the middle lines. This is what we'll do now. Open it out. And then these two lines need to be cut, which can be a bit tricky sometimes. Try and be as, as neat as possible, but you know, don't don't stress about it too much. And final cut along here.
we go. Okay, fine. So once we've got this then back in portrait, I'm gonna fold these flappy bits over. Let's fold them out across the page. Out. And then these two fold anyway. Now the important part is to flip it because if we just try and piece it all together now and make the book, I think you'll end up with about an eight page poetry book that has thicker pages. So it's really important to get the 16 pages that we flip it. So I forgot yesterday when I was doing this. Okay, and then from there, I'm gonna go from top into the middle. And then just tighten out those folds. And the bottom into the middle. And then you want to go from the bottom over to the top again. Like that. Straighten it all out. Make sure those pages are nice and neat. And you're left with that bit of a mouth that you just push together and you see the pages naturally want to go where they should. And again, just tighten that. Pull it around that way. And there you have it. You have a 16 page. So you've got one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, what's it, fifteen, sixteen page poetry book. So there you have it. That's how you make a mini 16 page poetry book that you can fill with different forms of poetry, or of course, you can fill them with anything that you want to. Depending on where you start with your fold, that will determine whether you end up with a portrait or a landscape book depending on whatever it is you fancy. Uh, play about with it, make both, um, and I look forward to seeing what you can come up with. Best of luck.